Oh, hi there. It's Anne here on the Life LDC Knits channel, and I'd like to share with you today an overview of the designs in Rowan Magazine 69. There's 40 uh, patterns included. 28 of them are in the first story, which is called Nostalgia. And I'll just quote from the magazine itself. Nostalgic style revisits those golden moments of the 1950s, adding a playful modern twist to the vintage fashion trends. The other story is uh, called Cotton Classics, and it's an exquisite collection by Martin Story for Women, which blends comfort and wearability with understated luxury. So 12 Martin Story designs all in soft yak DK and 28 nostalgic style uh, designs, including five patterns for men in various uh, Rowan core yarns. And the designers there are Lisa Richardson, Martin Story, Kay Facet, Brandon Madley, Arnon Carlos, Georgia Farrell, Galena Carroll, Quail Studio, Grace Jones, Kristen Tendike, Lily France, and Chloe Thurlow. So grab yourself uh, the drink of your choice and settle down with me for uh, uh, a brief, but I think comprehensive overview of the designs in Rowan Magazine 69. Nostalgic style starts with Humphrey, a design by Lisa Richardson. It's her take on the classic tennis sweater. This one has an all over textured pattern, but the uh, ribs are all traditionally striped. And Lisa gives instructions for both men's and women's ribs. So it's a unisex design. It's shown here with Anastasia by Georgia Farrell, which is a short sleeve pullover it's very lang girlish type sweater. It's a, a reverse stocking stitch uh, body with a, a textured diamond motif on the uh, across the chest. Georgia Farrell uses kid silk haze and fine lace held together for this luxurious fabric. The uh, rib detail with the eyelets uh, turns his classic turtleneck into something really special. Then when you uh, turn around and see it from the back, there's where you get the nostalgic uh, styling. I remember when all the girls used to turn their cardigans back to front and have the buttons running up the back. Melissa, by Arn and Carlos features this large graphic diamond intarsia motif on the front and uh, the back is plain. It uses four shades of summer light four ply. It's uh, knit in pieces and seam together. This would be a great uh, basic sweater shape that you could actually customize for yourself. Lena Carroll uses Kids Hill Haze doubles for this design. I love the uh, strong feral graphic at the bottom and what really makes it for me is this absolutely perfect little crochet button accent at the front neckline. Lisa Richardson's Deanna design is knit in Summerlight DK and Kid Silk Haze. I love the pockets on this and uh, this is a lovely classic cardigan which is taken to the next level with the uh, embellishments on the sleeve look at that look at that gorgeous uh, sleeve there you could even add a little bit of that to the body joan by arn and carlos is knit in four shades of fine lace it makes a lovely light cardigan with this strong graphic motif on the front and on the back it's knit in pieces, sewn up, and then the neckline and button bands are added. It's shown here with Eugene by Brandon Mabley, which is a traditional striped jumper. The stripes, uh, it's knit in pieces with an interesting two-color rib on the sleeves and on the neckline.
Janet by Grace Jones is a gorgeous single ply Kids Hill K's uh, sweater. I just love that wide neckline and it has subtle body shaping. This would be a great design to wear on a beautiful, cool summer night. Maggie by Arn and Carlos is a uh, knit in one piece from the back hem up and over the shoulder. The back is a plain color block while the front is this amazing flower burst intarsia design. It's knit in fine lace. Phyllis by Lisa Richardson is a hand knit cotton uh, jumper. It's boxy, oversized, knit in pieces, and it has this strong all over cable motif no rib on the bottom, just go straight up to the cable motif, right up to the funnel neck. Kristen Tendike designed this uh, cute little all over ribbed jumper in summer like DK. The sleeves and body pieces are joined and then the raglan shape yoke is knit, finishing with the neckband. Veronica is that uh, summer sweater that you can pop on just for everything. It's a garter stitch, no sleeve really design, cap sleeve design. It's knit in pieces, uh, top down, and the sewing up is what creates the neckline shaping, and then the shoulder seam and side seams create the armhole. Lily France's Melanie design is a dolman sleeve cardigan. It's knit in pieces, the front and back have beads placed near the shoulder seam, which when joined, creates this interesting uh, beaded seam effect. Everything's sewn up together, the front bands are applied, and then stitches are picked up and knit down for the super long cuffs. Sabrina is knit in fine lace and kid silk haze work together. That lace on the yoke and um, puffy sleeves is charted out for you. The front has a placket opening with three buttons. This is totally nostalgic style. Now I'd say this is more 60s than 50s, but Barbara by Lisa Richardson uses summer light four ply for the body and then Kid Silk Haze fine lace for these absolutely gorgeous, luxurious tiered sleeves. Stitches are picked up and each layer is worked down. Ronnie by Lisa Richardson is knit in Summer Light DK. It uh, features two different versions, plain or take that uh, the eyelet stripe area and do it in an alternating color. There's two uh, lengths given and I really, really like the side slit feature. Aurora is a classic bolero style. Arn and Carlos have uh, designed it to be knit from cuff to cuff and the ribbon detail is intarsia. The only seams are the underarm and side seams and once they're done you pick up the whole border and finish it in the round. Martin Story uh, uses cotton glacé for this classic cable texture raglan pullover. It's knitted in pieces. Uh, the uh, charts are provided for the cabling detail. Clayton is another classic Aaron design by Martin Story. In this case, it's a man's cardigan with raglan sleeves and uh, look at those beautiful cables and textured patterning. I like it when Rowan shows a couple wearing uh, their sweaters. This photo shows Clyde by Arna and Carlos and Anna on the woman. That's a design by Martin Story. Clyde, knit in cotton glacé, is a, a cardigan, a man's cardigan, and it's color blocked. Uh, that's very 50s. I, I actually remember people wearing that color block sweaters. It's knit in pieces, sewn together, and then the bands are picked up and knit back and forth. Anna by Martin Story is a stranded color work design. It's knit flat in pieces, so it does have to be sewn up and then buttonhole 
and button bands are knit up and the neckband is finished. This brioche cardigan designed by Lily France uses two strands of hand knit cotton. Pieces are knit flat and sewn together. The button and buttonhole bands are knit up first and then the collar is picked up and knit. Kathy by Lisa Richardson is a Fair Isle raglan jumper. The Fair Isle patterning is a 12 stitch repeat. It is charted out. The, uh, I like the plain rib in the bottom with the matching collar. Cody by Arna and Carlos is knit in cotton glacé, bleached and black, two shades to create this striking graphic design on the front and then the back is is all stripes. Dolores by Kay Facet uses Kid Silk Haze again in that black white combination using Wicked and white Kid Silk Haze for this intarsia design. You knit it in one piece from the back rib up and over the shoulder uh, and down to the front so minimal seaming is required. Dorothy by Quail Studio Knit in Summerlight 4-ply has a unique construction. The front and back pieces are knit flat. See, sleeves are knit flat. Then they're all joined into the, in the round and uh, the yoke is knit in the round up to the neckline, followed by the underarm and side seam finishing. Last up in nostalgic style is Dottie by Martin Story. Knit in cotton glacé, this adorable, short, deep ribbed cardigan has uh, an interesting eyelet and bobble motif up the front pieces and it's fully charted out for you. So what did you think of that nostalgic collection? There's some really interesting designs there, but I have to, I have to admit the cotton, the next story, the cotton classics is where my heart is being pulled to right now. So. Here comes part two, Cotton Classics. Martin is uh, starting to be known for his poncho designs and this one doesn't disappoint. The knit pearl texture repeat is charted out for you. Of course it's knit in one piece. Uh, but then you have to add on side borders to match the cast on off rib sections. Allegro is a relaxed body shape with raglan sleeves. The, the uh, stocking stitch uh, body is, has an accent of that amazing cable running right up the front. The cable stitches are left live so that they can, the cable can be incorporated into the neck ribbing. The bottoms and sleeves have deep ribbing also. The only accessory piece in the whole collection, B uses cream and black soft yak DK for the stripe section and then uh, stitches are picked up in jaune and a pico edge is finished off. I think it's very striking, don't you? Elka is an oversized cardigan. It's long. There is no back neck shaping. The fronts join directly onto the back. There is no back neckline shaping. But I love this overall textured pattern. I don't like to play favorites, but Alexi, Alexi, this cable masterpiece, I just love it. It's knit in pieces. It has pockets. Um, the cable repeat is charted. It's oversized, drop shouldered. This would be quite a statement, but it would be so warm and cozy on a cool summer night. Well, all year round for that matter. I love Claudie also. This is such a classic Aran styling. 
it's made modern with the slightly boxier body and the uh, deep v-neck it gives it a really modern look i love the way the button button bands are incorporated in the front pieces lynn is what i call a neat little cardigan it's body hugging it's knit in pieces and while the main body is stocking stitch that uh, yoke and bottom uh, above the rib is framed with gorgeous textured sections. Gabby is another thigh length cardigan. I love it. It's, cla it's classic stocking stitch. It's slightly uh, relaxed body fit. And what makes this a real standout is those deep, deep uh, ribs on the bottom and on the, on the cuffs of the sleeves. Piper is one of those elbow to elbow oversized boxy uh, pullovers. Front and back are knit separately. They're seamed at the shoulders and the underarms and you pick up stitches for the cuffs and your neckline and you're all done. The center front and back cable on Karen really attracted my eye. I love the textured uh, fabric that it sits on. Look at those cute pockets and I almost missed the fact that the sides are buttoned. Meggie is a raglan pullover with a pattern that I think is inspired by Gansey knit pearl textures. The pattern repeat is charted out for you and I think this would be a really lovely casual uh, garment to have. Terry's like the wedding dress finale in the fashion show. It's a long classic showstopper of a sweater. It's knit flat in pieces. The button bands are incorporated in the fronts. It's got pockets. It has a deep, deep rib on the bottom and it looks so comfy and cozy that I think this would be the kind of sweater that you will wear for a lifetime. And that wraps up Martin's Cotton Classics Collection. I'm glad you could join me while I had a good look at all of the designs in Rowan Magazine 69. Tell me, what are your favorites? Thanks for joining me, and until next time, happy knitting! reviews would include the Rowan East Collection by Lisa Richardson, the Union Collection for Men by Martin Story, and the fourth Mode at Rowan Collection. So I hope you will subscribe and hit that notification button. Rowan has a dedicated website for their magazine subscriptions. See the link below.